This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com of 2024. Chrysler's at Carlisle. This is another special exhibit. Uh, this is old school paint. This is really cool. They would spray through lace, which is so, so 60s and early 70s. What a neat effect. Yeah, I love the period correct keystones. That is really outstanding. I like the trim around it. I like the way how they kind of faded into white and then went to um, into the lace. Check out that stripe. Against all odds. Look at the detail on through the way how that fades. Again, old school paint. It's got a nice racing stripe down the uh, trunk lid. You can see it there, following the same flare. I love this reverse with the fade into the color. Glenn, you'll love this stuff. Glenn was a uh, body and paint man. Uh, now he runs a really great model car uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he's got both shorts and full length. Uh, they, even if you're not a model car person, you've got to watch Model Cars by Glenn. Uh, it is so much fun, so much fun. Now look at the metallic into there. That is so sweet. Far out, man, far out. Look at that fade. This one of my favorites. Again, with the old school paint, I want to show you the details. The cars are great. Come out to uh, Chrysler at Carlisle to see these absolutely outstanding cars. But this particular exhibit is truly, truly, if you appreciate the 60s and early 70s, this is where it's at. Because this is what we had back in the day. I remember when we used to be able to actually buy that as a decal. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Let me buy line. Oh. the intensity again I want to show you the details that's how I'm going close up just to give you what we're looking at see the different shades over there it's actually striped see it there you go Beautiful. Color by Tuki. Paint, not promises. House of Color. Look at the gills going back. Bucky's Limited. Auto Body. Wow. I want to get the uh, roof also. metallic in there is outstanding and the depth of the paint is very good psycho fish the 
very, very 60s. Again, we love the lime green metallics. Look at that purple. So psychedelic. And then back off so you can get the full effect here. Again, the gills. And I like the stripes. They fade in and out. What an effect. Check this out. See how subtle those lines are? It goes back into your quarters. I like this paint splotch. That's kind of cool. Check the roof out. Now this is the piece de resistance. Look at the way, I'm gonna zoom in for your details so you really see. The fins look great, but look at that. Painted on like a gold leaf. Bucky's uh, limited auto body. You know it's good because they got the Pink Floyd uh, tag on the back. Mm. I'm going to zoom back so this way you get again the whole thing. Psycho fish. Oh. Again, the ghost lines in it going into full stripes. Look at the detailing on the striping. Interesting the way how they have that almost like threads through there. Crazy Kuda. This has to be the same folks because the theme is still there. Isn't that great the way how that just flip flops? Wow. Again, it's nothing like seeing in person, so definitely get down to Chrysler at Carlisle this weekend. Mm. Yep, fuckies. They have some artists there. Quite a display just of their three cars. Mm. Let's keep going. Go whippersnapper. Again, we're concentrating on the paint here because the whole thing is old school paint. But I got to show you the induction. That is just a pure work of art. Absolute pure work of art. Is that gorgeous? You can see. The assemblies, I like the way how they use that plate in the center. Hello. Is this yours? Yes. That's outrageous. Did you build it by chance? Yes. My, my hat's off to the artist. <laughs> this is, oh, just, I love the paint. I love the setup because you've got the old school gasser. This, I built this car to drive on the street. Yeah. And I wanted it to be old school, circa 1965. So everything I put on the car, I tried to be 1965, just like you would just saw it at the Nats, maybe in 1965. Now tell me something. Okay, you're hung up with 1965. You were five years old at the time. Me? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, I, I graduated the year after that. So, Graduated was, nursery school, yeah, I right, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, okay. sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but this is... Did you do the paint too? No. The paint was done by somebody else. Yeah, the paint was done by somebody else. It, it's all hand-lettered. Again, uh -huh. that's 1965. Yes. Didn't have graphic. You know what I mean? Didn't right. have vinyl. No, of course not. not. And 
Nora and the girl uh, that did that. She's from down this part of the country. Hot Rod Jen. Oh, okay. She, if you ever heard her name, she's a famous artist on cars and pinstriping and all this stuff. Yeah, she did this all the way. This is remarkable. Well, before we get too far, tell me about Under the Hood. What do we have? That, that is a 426 stage 3 max wedge, which would have been typical for 1965. That is, I'll call them eight Weber carburetors. Mm -hmm. they're, they're four doubles, but they feed each cylinder independently. Right, yes. So they're, you might as well say they're singles. They are singles. They are singles. Yes. Okay. Um, I like the way how you rigged the uh, accelerator linkage. The that linkage. was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I had to make all that, to, you know what I mean, to mm -hmm. make it work. Oh, yeah. Okay, and time the carburetors together. Yeah. Did you use a uh, unit tune? You mean as far as trying to get the, yeah, the draw to on balance them? them? Yes. Yeah. They, they use them like for motorcycles and stuff. I used them ago. on uh, multiple carburetor cars well, you know back what? in the day. I, I race. I still race a super stock car, uh -huh. Max Wedge Cross Ram. Okay. And and I've taken and made one of the, you know took one of the motorcycle ones and adapted it for those carburetors because they're perfect. The, they're similar. Yeah. You know, one carburetor feeds four cylinders independent of the other, so yes. you got to get them pretty close. Yes. So this was kind of an experiment. It was something I wanted to try to be different. Everybody puts Hemi's in these, okay? Which I wanted to do something different. Yes. And. I actually was going to put Hillborn injection on it when mm -hmm. I talked to Hillborn. Do you mind if I uh, shoot you? <laughs> no, it, no, okay? no, don't worry no, about it. I don't it. care. Yeah, it's okay. Fine. Is, is this what do you use? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. And also on my calendar, NortheastWheelsEvents.com. Okay. Yeah, I mean it. Don't, it don't. It don't bother me. I'm. That's fine. I always ask before I shoot yeah, no, you, because some people, and I understand. No, I'm, I'm fine with this that. Is, I, it's it's remarkable. Yeah. The, People I bought the carburetors from, I told them what I wanted to do, and mm -hmm. they were like, that ain't gonna work. I said, why? Well, like I said, Hilborn talked me out of it, and they, right. they said they'd sell me electronic fuel injection, which I didn't want that because that wasn't It wasn't around, around then. It wasn't around. Well, actually, it was not. Mechanical was around, but not electronic. electronic. And, the, and, and the, the electric, electronic was gonna cost me like eight grand, and that wasn't in the budget at all, because I'm. I'm this old is, school. This is, I'm old school. I'm yeah. old school, and it's it's you know <clears throat> low dollar stuff. Um, but anyhow, when I talked to them, they're out on the west coast. They they told me they'd sell me the carburetors, but they're not going to work. They sold me the carbs and a bunch of parts to change internally. Mm -hmm. And it's um, I got it. It's 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 pretty close. Pretty close what it needs to be. I, I, I need to spend some tune time on it. Yeah. Um, yeah well, if I remember with the Webers, we used to get the kits with all of the uh, jets so we could rejet everything. Well, they got, you know what? I knew nothing about them. I mean, Carters, you know, AFBs, yeah, yeah. I grew up on them. But these, nothing about them. Emulsion tubes, yeah. idle jets, yeah. run jets. Yeah. I mean, and some of that stuff doesn't screw in, it swedges in. I yeah. never saw anything like that. It's Italian. What do you want? Oh, okay. These, actually, these mm -hmm. um, these are the same carburetors they run on the Ferraris. Yep. Okay. They're they're actually made in Spain. Okay. And it was one thing, you know, doing some research, people told me stay away from the knockoff ones. Yeah. If you're going to do it, do jump it in right. and do it right. So yeah. I, I did. I bought. Yeah. You know, they said yeah, you know, those might work for a while, and then you start having problems. I'm like, I don't need yeah. problems because I think I'm going to have them anyhow. Look up, uh, there was a, um, it's out of print now, there's a paperback book, uh, Weber, How to Set Them Up. It is invaluable. Uh, they sent me a manual, it gives you a headache yeah. to read it. I mean, it's, you know, there's so many, if it does this, it, this, yes. it's this, it's that. It's like, yes. It, the other thing is, is uh, fuel well, and they cautioned me on the fuel pressure. Yes. They, they run on three, three and a half pounds maximum. Yeah. Which is... I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I, I run a super stock car. That won't even start the car, yeah. let alone no. run it down the track. No, you know? not at all. It's interesting the way how you have your uh, fuel line, your fuel feed is fascinating. Well, that's what my son said. You're not going to do that with hose and hose clamps. I said, yeah, because that's circa 1965. Yes. Yes. That's the way it was. I yes. mean, I grew up in that time. I know that's how it was. Exactly. He's like, okay. 
You could put a nice braided line on them like... No, no, no. We no. didn't have that. No, no. I mean, this is somebody, he, one of the guys here looked and goes, hmm, Cal Custom Valve Covers. I said, yeah. I I was accumulating parts for a while, you know. It's you got an Anson, Anson Blowproof Bell Housing on it. Oh, jeez. NHRA approved on it. Oh, my gosh. You know, so just you silly had been stuff. Correct. Yeah, but that's half the passion. Yeah, I mean, it is. The shifter, that's a factory super stock shifter uh -huh. with a remote pattern on it. Now, the distributor does not look kosher. That's that's the one thing that is not circuit on this car. Yeah. And that I did that intentionally because the problems they told me I was going to see with these carburetors, mm -hmm. I said, I need to know that I got a good ignition system. Yeah. Because at least I know if I have a problem, I know what it's not. Yeah. Smart. So, Eliminate one thing. Yeah, because no. otherwise it'll be, is it fuel or spark? Yeah. Is it fuel or spark? I mean, I do that with a race car. You get into that. Yeah. Is it fuel or spark? You have to remember, though, Studebaker used electronic ignition in 63. So it On was Monty's? around. Yeah. Okay. It was around. Also, we sold conversion kits, Piranha, uh, yeah. to get rid of points. Uh, when I worked on uh, Citroen SM, which ran Maserati, mm. uh, we had dual points in a plastic cage on top of each other. Oh, yeah. They were frightfully expensive to replace. We put piranhas in there. Mm. So, yeah, it's kosher. Yeah. It's well, kosher. It's, it's like, you know what? And I've told people, I said, hey, there's one thing on this car that is not Circus 65, and it's that. Yeah. And it was intentional because I don't want to drive it on the street. I know. At least I, I, I like to think of what it's not. Yes. You know what I mean? So, well, I mean, that's, I could have done a better a... job of hiding it as well. Ah, okay. it's fine. Because actually, I, I had a friend of mine, he goes, you know, I got a tack drive, you know, distributor, and blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah. could make it really look right. I go, yeah, I know. But, hey, yeah. if, if people have a problem with it because of that, it's their problem. Yeah, you deal with I mean? it. Deal with it. That's it. Deal with it. Oh, I just can't believe the, uh, I love that you have the single headlights. This is like bare bones. It's wonderful. I love the deep, deep metallic in there. Very 60s. Yeah. Very 60s. This is great. Oh, it pops, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. Can we see inside? That Boy, you other. have that working perfectly. Wow. Oh. So I, I want to put a full interior in it. Mm -hmm. I want it finished. I, I, I like things finished. Yes. I even, uh, which all the interior guys told me I was going to not be able to do it. Everybody just paints the inner fenders. No, you could have, see that looks cover. nice with the vinyl. Yeah, it's the same seat material. I got the material from the seat guy. Yeah. I like your seat bend, uh, your purchase, by the way. Yeah. See, Very you're a detail done. person. I oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember these cars so well. Now, putting it up on the dash, that's the proper way. But you remember what we used to do? Strap it with a hose clamp on the uh, column. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> the worst thing you could ever do. Yeah. It would always fall in your lap. Okay. I love the triple gauges. Oh, this is great. This is great. Mm. And again, it looks like it's perfectly set up. Now, I like your um, roll bar, roll bar yeah. with the concession to get in and out. Yeah, and you know what? Somebody was, well, a fellow was here before. He's building a 65, and we were talking about it. Mm -hmm. And I said, he said something about his, his, would that have been illegal in 65? I said, I'm going to tell you, in 19, well, I quit racing in 73, my super stock car, we weren't allowed at roll cage. Really? No, because they said they gave you an unfair advantage. We were not allowed to cage a car in 1973, going 125 mile an hour, NHRA. Wow. And a lap belt is all we had, it was a stock lap belt. Stock lap. Oh my god. Now we've got to get the belts done every two years and yep. all that nonsense. Okay. And all the helmets and all that oh, has yeah. to be updated. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. 
So, oh yeah. So I mean, to, to me, that's you know, minor it shows concession. something that could have been done. Yes. In the mid '60s. Yeah. Okay, in one of these cars. Yeah. In an older wheelbase car. This is, gosh. You might have saw something. You might not have saw it because. Of, Let's see. Got a few people see it. See what that says on that? Oh yeah. AFX, alternate uh, FX. Okay. Very interesting. Do tell. They made that. Okay. Well, I know all the manifolding you've you've custom made. That is all custom. Because to get anything like that, I mean. Yeah, the linkage. Custom, that trying to climb cool. the carburetors. I mean, which, yeah, yeah. Uh, to me, that uh, I just I enjoy. It's always uh, fun. The guy I learned how to tune carburetors from, I use a uh, Unitune. He said just use a uh, fuel line, uh, some rubber hose, and listen. He was that good. Wow. Oh, this guy was real old wow. school, really good. But he taught me with the Unitune hmm. uh, because that way you set it up properly because we're working on customers cars yeah, you couldn't right. guess uh, oh what was his name I gotta remember English fellow he knew the gold leaf that's period right oh yeah oh yeah and what's amazing is that that's not a decal she actually painted that it actually puts that on her and she she has a little tool that she ah yeah they actually Engine turn. Engine turn. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea. I'm not a body person. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't know either. I'm like, really? Oh, yeah, that's how it's done. I'm like, wow. wow. This is so sweet. Roaring 65s. There we go. Lettering by Hot Rod Gems, 1977. Born to cruise. That's for sure. That is for sure. Bill, this is amazing. There you go, showing off a little bit. Oh, with the battery in the rear. Great. Great. What a vast. <laughs> I gotta check out underneath. As long as I had the front end, let's get the rear end. Not even traction bars, I'm surprised. Wow. Nice slicks. I'm surprised. Why no traction bars? Because that was kosher. I never, I never was into that on a movie. I, okay. I just wasn't. It was like that was a Chevy thing. It seemed like you know what I mean. I, I just I okay. Could never, and I had a friend that actually I've, I've raced with, and he had traction bars on his Plymouth here four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. and I was like, really, George? Traction bars? He didn't have money very long. They didn't do anything for him. Okay. Because Superstock Springs. Chrysler spent a lot, they had to spend a lot of engineering and a lot of money on developing those springs. Mm -hmm. because, hey, cars go fast on those springs. Yes. You know, I mean, and they don't uh, wrap up at all? No, no, okay. No, no. That is beautiful. Bill, thank you very much for the tour. Really appreciate it. This is ah, outstanding. Oops, What's sorry. Okay? No, you're right. I want to get a. Uh, Stand back and get an overall. Nice. Zoom around, get the front. Now we're being artistic and getting the right angles. Want to do it now? Sure, why not? Oh, look at that duck sucker. That is perfect. Oh, that is brilliant. That is great. That is great. That's the problem with your car. It's gorgeous with the hood down. Yeah. And but you but can't see you the can't see the engine. Yeah. You can't see them carburetors. Oh. That, that is a bad thing. Well, what you have to do is just give a concession. Have a little. Assist motors lift and close, lift and close. That's, you know, somebody asked me, how are you going to show it with the hood up or down? I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I'll, 
I'll have it up because yeah. nobody will expect to see that. Yeah. And if they like to take a picture with it down, I just put it down. You know what I mean? That sounds good. That's, Perfect. That's all. But, ah, that's wonderful. Bill, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Thanks for stopping. Oh, my pleasure. Believe me, my pleasure. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's, you know, it's half of why you do it. You know what I mean? Yes. So that people can look at it and appreciate what you did. And, yeah. And, and see some of the things you did, like my seat brackets that you saw that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was doing that, and a friend of mine is like, what are you doing? I'm like, let's see. You know, just add something yes that's all it's yes just me that's my detail you're an artist you're a dreamer and you see things no one else does well and that is something my son's like that i tell him we see like when we look at cars we see mm -hmm. things that other people don't right we're right. car people yeah we're car people we can look at something and go mm, boy yeah I mean, we can see our own mistakes. We see mm -hmm. things that's like, and people look at it and never, never see. It. Right. You know, my son took best to show at the Mopar Nats uh -huh. in, in Young Guns. Okay. Mopar Muscle picked him wow. best to show. And I mean, they poured over that car. Like, I, I was like, holy mackerel. And is it perfect? No. I could point out stuff, but they didn't see it. You yeah. know what I mean? It was, when we were painting it, it was like certain things we just couldn't get on a black car yet. Oh, black, car. black don't lie. Yeah, it don't lie. You no. Know? But so it's like we see things and other people, would, they could look and go, I don't see what you're looking at. Yeah. But we do. Oh, that's it. You know. That's it. And it's our own, we're our own worst enemy. Yeah. When it comes to that. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, I'll tell you, this is, this is perfect. What's your name? Pam. Pam. Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. Nice to meet you, man. Oh, I'm Bill. pleasure, Bill. This is thanks for the tour. Really appreciate You're it. You're quite welcome. I appreciate you stopping and looking. Oh, that's it. But we're going to cut it over here for more cool events like this. Make sure you check your car show calendars: NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com. And while you're there, remember post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows.